Hello and welcome to a new video of Bright Control Engineering. This time we're going to do an optimal mount control yeah, for our system here. We have used this system in previous videos already. We are controlling the temperature of this element here with the help of a PLTA element. Yeah? So we are controlling the temperature, we are heating up this to here. We can select here the set point, we can trigger the set point and the controller itself it's realized in Arduino there is a PAD controller in running which can control the control element the PLTE element here with the help of this of this part well and yeah this is the control loop this is the system we analyzed this system before yeah we have done this in a previous video and it turned out this thing is behaving like a PT2 element okay and we said we have done this, yeah? we have done here the jump response, I have recorded the jump response and if I make an overlay of our theoretical PT2 element, it would look like this. Yeah? So you see, they are almost here, this is one exception, I think they have written down a wrong number, yeah? but the rest looks perfect. Yeah? So we are using, this is now our PT2 element. Yeah? And we said PT2 element, optimal amount, we have to use a PI controller. And with the time constant, with the integration type of the PI controller, I'm compensating the bigger time constant of my system. And the bigger time constant of my, of my system is 145. Book. Yeah. This was easy. Yeah. And now the only thing I have to find out how how big shall I use this proportional gain factor of my controller? Okay, we said we want to have the crossover frequency at the half frequency of my second band. Well, the second band is at 1 divided by 37. The half frequency would then be at 1 divided by 72. 74, of course. 37 times 2 is 74. Yeah? 74. Okay. 74. How much bigger is this frequency? Well, if I'm using here 145 is 1 divided by 145 is the first band. Yeah? The second band is 1 divided by 74, so I divide by 74. One dot nine five nine times higher. Okay, I know here I have a gain factor of one dot forty four, and if I'm one dot nine five nine higher, yeah, with my gain is dropping to this to this value. Yeah? So I am using one divided by x multiplied by one dot forty four book. 0 0.73. Here we only have 0 0.73 gain. Yeah. I want to have this one. So I would use to 1 divided by x a gain factor of 1.36. 1 1.36. Book. This should do the trick. This should be an optimal amount. Gain factor 1.36 yeah, to reach the correct uh, crossover frequency here. And time constant, integration time, 145, because this is actually the time constant of my PT2 element. Yeah, well, we have the parameters, I will adjust the parameters and then we are going to have a look how they are working on this system. Okay, so everything is set. PI controller is set to the corresponding parameters we just found out. K to 1.36 and TN to 145. Currently we're running at around 30 degrees Celsius and I'm going to trigger the set point now and we will see how our optimal amount controller is working. Let's see, so trigger. Yeah, now we just have to wait again 
until it is finished. We should see around 4% 4% over swing, yeah, because it's an optimal amount controller, and then we should reach it. Let's see how fast. This looks nice. It's not quite what we expect of an optimal amount controller, yeah, because we expected a little bit overswing. This would be the jump response of optimal amount controller. Well, but then it we have substituted this with a theoretical PT2 system. So we are not, you know, there is a difference between the real system and and the uh, and the theoretical representation of PT2 system. But you see, it's working pretty well. Yeah? So I would not touch anything here at this at this control adjustment. Yeah? Ah, hear me? Going a little bit down maybe? Well, maybe a little bit maybe a little bit more aggressive controller. Yeah? But no, it's working pretty well. Yeah, yes, yeah, it's not even that severe this going down. This is this is see? Analyze the system, find out parameters, yeah, substitute the system with a theoretical element, find out the correct parameters with our what we have learned about uh, designing body plot, and then Lay back and enjoy the show. This is how it is done. Okay. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.